Hey folks, Danny Jugan with Axis Games. I'm the lead designer for Axis Football, and I've got a video for you that's going to show off our new hot routes and our hot route mods, so how you can do that. I apologize if it sounds like I am dying, uh, but it is 5 a.m. here, and this was the only time of the day that I could get this video out to you guys. Alright, so in game now, if we pick a passing play, let's go go trips um, and pick a passing play. You'll notice there's an additional button next to audible. You can audible like normal, um, but now when you click on hot route, you'll get buttons next to all of the available receivers. Um, and these are hot keyed, so you can press 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on your keyboard. You can click the buttons. Um, this also works with the controller. I'll plug the controller in here in just a second, show you how it works. But this lets you select your receiver. Um, so let's say, for example, I think they're in man coverage, um, and I want him to run an out. So I want our slot receiver here, position 3, to run a route. I can either press 3 or click on the button, and that pulls up 6 available hot routes. Um, so if I want him to run an out, I'm going to click on this, and then he's going to run up and run an out when I snap the ball. You can hot route any or all of your receivers at one time. Um, let's take a look at this split back formation play. We've got both of our receivers running routes. I'm going to pick this one. They're in a six-man front. Um, and I'm a little bit worried that I'm not going to have enough protection. So in situations like this, one of the nice things about hot routes is I'm going to select both of my running backs and I'm going to tell them to block. Now you notice we didn't have this block um, available when we had our wide receivers, but if you select either a tight end or a running back, you have the ability to tell them to block. Okay. Vice versa, if you have a running back who is assigned to block in a play, you can change him to go out and run a route if you think you don't need him to block. So I'm going to have block on this side, um, and we'll see him. He'll run up and look for a blocker, and then kind of hang out and see if anyone's going to block. And I'm going to have this guy run a fly, because there doesn't seem to be anyone over top of him, even though this guy's probably covering. We'll see what happens. So you notice our running back's in here blocking. So that's how hot routes work. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually pull up how we make modifications to that. I'm going to close out of our game and if you've messed with mods at all, you know that all of the files are located uh, in the local folders. Uh, so if you go to properties, you select access to football and steam, go to properties and then you go over to local files and then browse local files. This pulls up um, all of the game files and everything that's moddable is going to be inside of this mods folder. Okay, so I've got the mods folder open here. This is a new version. Um, you guys know you can modify rosters, uh, player stats, and uniforms here. I've added a mod instructions, which this will be more complete when I release the update. But there are some written instructions for how to modify the hot routes. Um, but I'm going to show you the, the video as well, obviously. Um, so if we open up Hot Routes, you notice there's just a single file. Um, and the single file lists all of the Hot Routes on the left side. And then there's a series of X location, Y location, and speeds um, for each of the routes. And these are essentially, essentially points on the field that the receiver will run. And these are in order. So the first position they'll run is 0, 5 at speed 1 and then the next position they'll run is negative 25 at speed 1 as well. So I'm going to show you how to change these values, what these values mean um, and how to put in your own routes if you want. Okay, so um, let's say for example that and you can do kind of one of two things here. Um, you can modify a route and leave it in as, so let's say you, you want to have an out route as one of the, the hot routes, um, but you don't like the fact that he only runs 5 yards up. You would rather him run 10 yards up. You simply change this value to 10, and you change this value to 10. What these positions are, these X location, Y locations, these are points in the field, and the numbers correspond to yards, so this means he's going to run 10 yards. 
these are points on the field that are relative to the starting position of the player in the play. So for example, he is going to run at x0, which means no modification to his x value. If this were 5, then he would run 5 yards to the right. If it were negative 5, he would run 5 yards to the left. So we'll leave this as x0 because we want him to run 10 yards straight. Once he reaches that 10 yards, then he's going to go to x negative 20, which means he's going to turn left, y10. And he's already at y10 because that's where he stopped in the previous point. So he's essentially going to run straight forward for 10 yards and then turn left and run left for 20 yards, which is an out route. Now there's two very important things here. The first is that all of these hot routes are relative to the side that the receiver is on uh, when the play starts. So these routes are written in terms of them being on the left side, okay, which is why they're running to the left to do an out route. The game will automatically adjust the values if the receiver's on the right side of the ball. Okay. In addition to that, these routes will switch sides um, in the display window when you're selecting the hot route, and I'll show you that when we get um, back inside of the game. So now we've modified our out route to go 10 yards, um, but let's say we don't want an in. Let's say we want to run um, kind of like a wide receiver screen. So all we do here is you just type in the route that you want. So I'm going to type in screen. And then what we really just want him to do is run back a couple yards. Okay, so let's have it, let's actually have him run towards the quarterback a couple yards. So I'm going to say three because remember this is from the left side. So if we want him to run towards the quarterback, it's going to be x positive 3. So he's going to run 3 yards towards the quarterback and then we want him to run back a little bit. So I'm going to say negative 3. Okay. Now for the speed modification you have two options and it explains this in the instructions as well. You can put a 0 or you can put a 1. A 0 means like a slow jog and a 1 is the normal speed that receivers run routes. So because this is a screen pass, I don't want him running this part at full speed. I'm going to want him to run a little bit slower. Now that's the only part of the route that I want him to run. So I'm going to delete all of these other values. Okay. You can have unlimited points. So if you want to do something really complicated like a post corner, you just continue to list X and Y and speed all the way out. You may have 10 different points on a route that you want to run. In this example, we only have one. Okay, So I'm going to save this and I'm going to plug in a controller so that I can show you guys how it looks um, using hot routes with a controller. Okay, so I'm going to close out of this and go back into the game and let's see our controller is connected and I'm going to start it up and in this game, we've got the Steelers playing the, excuse me, the Steelmen playing the Volunteers. Um, and hopefully, the Steelmen's headsets will work. Um, they don't have any issues with that. Uh, you'll notice that the kicker's name now shows. Um, I'm in the middle of making the last set of updates for, um, you know what, I want to be on offense. I'm going to start this over. Notice that the kicker's name now shows, which is nice. That's one of the things that I know you guys said you wanted, showing some love to them. All right, so we get the ball after the kickoff, and I'm going to go ahead and pick a passing play. So I'll go into shotgun, and I'm going to pick this, this X shadow down here on the bottom uh, with my controller. So you notice now, because we have a controller plugged in, we've got our buttons here. The audible button used to be blue, but I changed it to red so that it better corresponded with the color of the B button. And hot routes is Y. So if I hit hot routes, you notice now we've got buttons that correspond to the players. Um, and if I want to run, um, let's go over to our X receiver right here, this guy. So I'm going to hit our X button on the controller, and this pops up our menu. Now as far as selecting the route, you'll notice that you use the left stick for the top and the right stick for the bottom three. You just tap the, it to the left, up, and right, and left, up, and right, 
uh, depending on the route that you want to run. And this is what I mentioned earlier. If you notice here, our out route is on the outside because it wouldn't make much sense for you to press any other direction other than out um, or towards the sidelines to run an out route. If I switch, so I'm going to hit Y again to close this menu, notice that the out button is on the far left side. If I switch and go over here to our running back, notice now that the out is on the right side because I thought it would be, be more intuitive to press the direction that the receiver is running the route. Okay. So we'll go back over here to our X receiver, and our screen, notice we modified our screen, and now it shows up here. So if I want to run a screen, I'm going to tap my left stick in, and it's automatically going to do that. So we should be able to see um, our receiver just kind of run down in this direction. So one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to take my stick and I'm going to move this here. I know you guys said you want to be able to move the passing um, circle before the play snaps so now we can do that um, so I'm gonna snap this we see him kinda running towards there and that's our screen route that we just ran so I'm gonna run a couple more just to kinda show you guys we'll show you the the out route so I'm gonna pick this overload down here and I'm going to hot route our tight end to run that out route that we modified uh, remember we changed it to run 10 yards instead of 5, so whereas before he would kind of run up here and run along the first down line, now he's going to go up closer to the 30 and run there. And I'm going to go ahead and move this over here because I am not very good um, controlling the path circle with the controller. And they had some good coverage there. Um, it was New England, so they probably cheated and knew what play we were going to run. Just kidding. So that's how we uh, make modifications to hot routes. Um, I will give you guys just a kind of a quick peek at uh, some of the, the new uniforms. So I'm going to switch out and go into scene view. Um, and I know you guys don't uh, really have the ability to do this, but this lets you kind of take a look at the uniform. See, we've got the um, logo on the helmet and the sleeve. You can see you got a cool design on the front of the... Um, New England uniform, guys on the sideline, and got the footballs on the sides of the helmets for them as well. Um, so Ace did an awesome job with the uniform, so kudos on him, or kudos to him. Um, and so that's going to wrap it up for us with Hot Routes. Um, hopefully it works well for you guys, um, it's a good addition to the game. I will be posting... Um, some more videos with instructions on how to make modifications to some other stuff. Talk to you soon. Thanks.